PS2. Form the WSH Committee and implement its functions. UK 2.WSH, WSH Committees, Regulations 2008, Lesson 2. UK 2. WSH, WSH Committees, Regulations 2008. UK 2. WSH, WSH Committees, Regulations 2008. Course Contents. Formation of WSH Committee. Role of Project Manager in WSH Committee. Meetings of WSH Committee. Functions of WSH Committee. Regular Inspection. Inspection after Accident Occurrence. Safety Promotion. Guidelines for Safe Conduct of Work. Penalties for Noncompliance. Formation of Workplace Safety and Health Committee. Appointment of Workplace Safety and Health Committee and Chairman. It shall be the duty of the occupier to appoint a a workplace safety and health committee and b a person as a chairman of the workplace safety and health committee being a person whom the occupier reasonably believes is competent to perform the functions and duties of its chairman formation of workplace safety and health committee appointment of secretary 5-1 where there is a person appointed as the workplace safety and health officer of a factory he shall be deemed to be appointed as the secretary of the workplace safety and health committee of that factory 2. Where no person is appointed as the workplace safety and health officer of a factory, it shall be the duty of the occupier of the factory to appoint, from among the members of the workplace safety and health committee of the factory, a person to be its secretary. Formation of Workplace Safety and Health Committee Appointment of Secretary 5-1 Where there is a person appointed as the workplace safety and health officer of a factory, he shall be deemed to be appointed as the secretary of the workplace safety and health committee of that factory. 2. Where no person is appointed as the workplace safety and health officer of a factory, it shall be the duty of the occupier of the factory to appoint, from among the members of the workplace safety and health committee of the factory, a person to be its secretary. Formation of Workplace Safety and Health Committee Formation of Workplace Safety and Health Committee Formation of Workplace Safety and Health Committee Powers of Workplace Safety and Health Committee 17. The Workplace Safety and Health Committee of a factory shall, for the purposes of discharging its functions and duties under the Act, have the power to do all or any of the following. a. To enter, inspect and examine the factory at any reasonable time. b. To inspect and examine any machinery, equipment, plant, Installation or article in the factory. Dot. Formation of Workplace Safety and Health Committee. C. To require the production of factory records, certificates, notices, and documents kept or required to be kept under the Act, including any other relevant document, and to inspect and examine any of them. D. To make such examination and inquiry of the factory and of any person at work in that factory as may be necessary to execute its duties. E. To assess the levels of noise, illumination, heat or harmful or hazardous substances in the factory and the exposure levels of persons at work therein. Dot. Role of Project Manager in WSH Committee. Project Manager shall be appointed as head of WSH Committee. Meetings. It shall be the duty of the occupier of a factory to take, so far as is reasonably practicable such measures to ensure that the Workplace Safety and Health Committee of the factory meets at least once a month to discuss matters relating to the safety and health of persons at work in that factory. No person shall prevent any member from attending any meeting of his Workplace Safety and Health Committee that is held during working hours. No person shall make any deduction from the salary of any member for being absent from work for the purpose of attending any meeting of his Workplace Safety and Health Committee. Dot. Meetings of WSH Committee. Minutes of Meeting. 1. It shall be the duty of the Secretary of the Workplace Safety and Health Committee of a factory to furnish a copy of the minutes of every meeting of the Workplace Safety and Health Committee of the factory to every member thereof and to the occupier of the factory. 2. It shall be the duty of the occupier of a factory to dash a. Keep a copy of such minutes in the factory for inspection by any inspector, and b. Furnish a copy of such minutes to the Commissioner at any time when required by the Commissioner. Dot. Meetings of WSH Committee. Non-member may attend meetings. 
a workplace safety and health committee of a factory may invite any person employed in the factory who has suffered bodily injury as a result of any accident or dangerous occurrence which took place in the factory to attend any meeting of the committee to discuss the accident or dangerous occurrence. Dot. Meetings of WSH Committee Functions of WSH Committee Action to be taken on report of Workplace Safety and Health Committee 2. It shall be the duty of the occupier of the factory, as soon as is reasonably practicable after receiving any report furnished under paragraph, 1, to do the following. Discuss the recommendations of the Workplace Safety and Health Committee with the Workplace Safety and Health Officer, if one has been appointed, or the Chairman. Record in the report the occupier's decision, and Direct any person at work in the factory to take such action as the occupier thinks necessary in the interests of the safety and health of persons at work in the factory. 3. It shall be the duty of the occupier of the factory to keep a copy of every report furnished under paragraph 1. In the factory. Dot. Regular inspection. General inspection of factory. 11. Dash 1. It shall be the duty of the occupier of a factory to take so far as is reasonably practicable, such measures to ensure that the Workplace Safety and Health Committee of the factory inspects the factory at least once a month to see if necessary measures are taken to ensure the safety and health of persons at work in the factory. Dot. Be prepare for a surprise inspection from mom enforcement team. Dot. Regular inspection. Inspection of factory after accident or dangerous occurrence 12-1 where any accident or dangerous occurrence has taken place in any factory, it shall be the duty of the occupier of the factory to take, so far as is reasonably practicable, such measures to ensure that the Workplace Safety and Health Committee of the factory immediately carries out an inspection of the factory, and it shall be the duty of the Workplace Safety and Health Officer appointed in respect of the factory, if one has been appointed, to immediately conduct an investigation into the accident or dangerous occurrence and furnish the Chairman of the Workplace Safety and Health Committee of the factory with a report of the findings of his investigation. Dot. Dangerous, hazardous and unsafe conditions relating to WA activities. No barricades and no temporary handrail along the staircase a person can easily slip and fall. Dot. Dangerous, hazardous and unsafe conditions relating to WA activities. Danger, side opening of construction building. Dot. Inspection after accident occurrence. 2. After an inspection has been carried out in accordance with paragraph, A, of a factory where an accident or a dangerous occurrence has taken place, it shall be the duty of the Chairman of the Workplace Safety and Health Committee of the Factory to ensure that the Workplace Safety and Health Committee of the Factory holds a meeting to discuss the observations of the members during the inspection and the report of the Workplace Safety and Health Officer referred to in paragraph, if any, and records in a report. Its opinion in respect of the lack of any measure, or any deficient measure, taken to ensure the safety and health of persons at work in the factory so far associated with the condition of factory and the cause of the accident or dangerous occurrence, and its recommendations on the actions to be taken in the factory to ensure the safety and health of persons at work in the factory. Dot. Inspection after accident occurrence. Dot. Safety promotion. The Workplace Safety and Health Committee of a factory may assist in organizing any contest, competition or other activity for the purpose of promoting the safe conduct of work in the factory. Dot. Site Safety Committee Organized Safety Promotion. Dot. Safety Promotion. Safety Promotion is a major component of the Safety Management System, SMS and together with the organization safety policy and safety objectives are important enablers for continuous safety improvement achieved mainly through the two operational components of the SMS, risk management and safety assurance. Safety risk management, safety assurance and safety promotion provide the means for an organization to control the safety risks and maintain the right balance between production and protection. Dot. Safety promotion. 15-1. The Workplace Safety and Health Committee of a Factory shall, with the approval of the occupier of the factory, 
issue a set of guidelines to promote the safety and health of persons at work in the factory. 2. The guidelines may, with the approval of the occupier of the factory, be amended or revoked by the Workplace Safety and Health Committee. 3. It shall be the duty of the occupier of the factory to publish a copy of the guidelines, and all amendments made to the guidelines, in such manner as will secure adequate publicity at the factory for the guidelines. Dot. Project Manager Promote Safety and Health of Persons at Work in the Factory. Dot. Guidelines for Safe Conduct of Work. Workplace Safety and Health Committee to assist in organizing certain activities to promote safe conduct of work in factory. 14. The Workplace Safety and Health Committee of a factory may assist in organizing any contest, competition or other activity for the purpose of promoting the safe conduct of work in the factory. Dot. Guidelines for Safe Conduct of Work Guidelines to Promote Safe Conduct of Work in Factory 15-1 The Workplace Safety and Health Committee of a Factory shall, with the approval of the occupier of the factory, issue a set of guidelines to promote the safety and health of persons at work in the factory. 2. The guidelines may, with the approval of the occupier of the factory, be amended or revoked by the Workplace Safety and Health Committee. Dot. Guidelines for Safe Conduct of Work 3. It shall be the duty of the occupier of the factory to publish a copy of the guidelines, and all amendments made to the guidelines, in such manner as will secure adequate publicity at the factory for the guidelines. Dot. Penalties for Noncompliance The Workplace Safety and Health Act states a general maximum penalty for offenses. The penalties are shown in the tables below. Failure to comply with remedial orders or stop work orders. Dot. Penalties for noncompliance. The Workplace Safety and Health Act states a general maximum penalty for offenses. The penalties are shown in the tables below. Failure to comply with remedial orders or stop work orders. Dot. Penalties for noncompliance. If an offense was committed previously which has caused the death of any person, any subsequent offense under the same section which causes the death of another person will have a maximum fine that is doubled. Dot. 